In the middle of a global recession, the South African wine market continues to grow. 10 of the top 30 alcohol brands are wine brands and Distel's wines hold a 37.1% market share, including a 72.9% share of sparkling and 79.8% share of fortified wines. We're well positioned to take advantage of the upward trend in the category. Our objectives are simple. We want to get more people drinking wine and keep the wine lovers we've already created. But how do we want to achieve this in an increasingly competitive category? How do we stay ahead of the pack in a landscape that is changing every day? How do we react in the face of legislation that challenges the models we hold as gospel? One word, innovation. We have to challenge the way we think. It isn't just about new products. It's about exploring new media, building new lifestyle experiences, and most importantly, listening to the consumer so we can give them what they want. Sit back as the Distel Wine team shows you how we are going beyond boundaries. To achieve the desired growth in the wine market, we've set the following goals for ourselves. Sparkling wine is a very important category and there we look at a three-tiered approach. We've got the entry level, we've got the mid-level and then we've got the super and ultra section of Pongratz. Um, and there in that category we've innovated with two brands and also bringing new innovation to the market. Um, super and ultra premium, we need to turn around the decline for that market. A uh, very important element for us as well, this is all about image building and attracting the top end consumer, this is where detail is everything. Um, the way we choose paper, the way we choose venues, the food, the flowers, everything goes into the detail of this category. Premium wines, premium wines is where the bulk of our wine sits and where the bulk of our volume sits. This is where we attract new consumers into the wine category. Um, this is also where we grow and take away a market share and where we need to gain market share in this category as well. The basic portfolio, or otherwise also known as the popular wine portfolio, this is where we need to gain back market share in the bag and box category. This is where Namakwa and Four Cousins are quite big and our answer to that is Four Street and Drostorf, Selekast and also Urfamir. This is where we need to gain back momentum as well. Um, and then going into Fortified Wines. Fortified Wines, Cedric Old Brown Sherry is our big player here and our power brand. Um, and we've turned that decline around considerably in the last two years. And this is also a very valuable profit pool for us as well. And a very important brand to our total stable. Then Niederberg. Niederberg is our big wine brand. This is, um, we basically need to turn Niederberg around again. We need to make Niederberg sexy again. And I think we've achieved that this year just with the association of MasterChef and we need to grow this brand into a multi-million litre case wine over the next five years. Not just for Southern Africa, but also globally. Okay, the wine consumer base, we definitely need to increase our wine pie and it's not just to um, keep the current consumer group satisfied, but it's really to attract new consumers into the wine category. We definitely see an upswing um, into, the, into the wine category. There's a, there's a bit of an undercurrent at the moment, which is fantastic for us. Um, and I think this is now the right time to constantly look at our portfolio mix to see that we've got the right brands, attracting the right consumers um, for growth into the category. Um, the blue ocean thinking, I think constantly we need to, to look at how we look at wine. We constantly need to look smarter at what we do. Um, and this is really looking at innovation, looking at smarter ways of doing the existing things. And this is always just to keep the portfolio relevant for the consumer mix. Then complexity reduction. I think complexity reduction is, a, is, a, is a quite a motherhood statement. But it's really constantly also looking at the portfolio, the the um, SKUs that we've got in the portfolio, the different varietals to see what adds value and what attracts value in the category. And then lastly but not definitely not least, this is a very important win for us in wine category. This is basically to win a GWL and GWL I mean Gross's wine license. This is where we need to make a difference. Um, this is where the majority of our volume comes from in the GWL category as well as the urban independent a channel and this is where we really need to win as a wine category. We need to do things differently there. This is a very cluttered environment 
Um, and this is where we need to win as to style and take the leadership again and take the leadership back. And also this is the way we need to look differently in terms of how we attract consumers within GWL. Also how we um, market our wines on shelf at the point of purchase. Um, and this is very, very big thing for us. So we'll showcase this later as well, how we see going forward and how we're going to change the way we operate in this landscape. Those are the key objectives for the wine category. Now let's see how we're going to achieve this. The Two Oceans Hermanus Whale Festival provides a unique branding opportunity and links up beautifully with one of the brand's greatest intrinsic benefits, tying it closely to the ocean from which its white wines get their crisp, easy drinking characters. The festival also adds to the fun-loving brand's lifestyle image with good music and mouth-watering food. is a wine that acts in a non-traditional way. Instead of doing normal tastings in a bottle store environment, we moved them to slow and organic food markets, a setting that would enhance the brand's positioning. The Eau de Libertas market has been so successful in terms of tastings and sales that we will be expanding to more lifestyle markets around the country. International pop sensation Lady Gaga cuts a prominent and often controversial public figure. But to the target market of 4th Street Wines, she provides an ideal celebrity match. 4th Street is proud to be aligned with the international pop diva during her South African tour. In 2012, Niederberg was one of the co-sponsors of the first season of MasterChef South Africa. Not only did this sponsorship help associate Niederberg with excellence in food, but it also highlighted the food-friendly nature of the brand and the positioning that Niederberg was best enjoyed with food. We also felt that the other sponsors, namely Woolworths and Sogo Sun, sat very well with Niederberg's positioning. Like Niederberg and good food, this sponsorship represented the perfect complement and led to Niederberg being listed in Woolworths stores nationwide. Dina! <laughs> JC LaRue's recent collaboration with Good Luck definitely helped build this power brand's Le Good Life lifestyle platform. Not only do the Electro Swing duo make the perfect brand ambassadors, but what really broke new ground for Distel was the unique mass incentive device, a new single appropriately named Le Good Life, which could be downloaded after purchase. Distributed electronically, this MP3 gift with purchase could be replicated infinitely and distributed instantly. Got out of bed this morning, took a shower without yawning, something was different inside of me. Did my usual trip to work, but I, I felt so good at her And something's got me buzzing like a bee Hey, there's a jingle in my toes And if I only knows it, maybe I'll work out what it means oh, So brother, let's go out tonight Keep it bubbling, keep it light <laughs> Get loose. 
One of our strategic objectives is to attract new consumers with innovative products. He5 is a new 5.5% wine from Two Oceans. In the UK, the light wine market is the fastest growing, largely due to the pursuit of healthier and more responsible lifestyles. He5 is South Africa's first 5.5% wine and is thus positioned to become the leader in this exciting new market. Our newest addition to the JC LaRue family is quite out of the ordinary. This year we'll see the launch of our new non-alcoholic Le Domaine. With the same great taste of JC's iconic Le Domaine, this non-alcoholic alternative is a first for Distel and opens up the range to a far wider market. It both capitalizes on global health trends as well as broadening the consumer base to include traditional non-wine drinkers. We're extremely excited about the launch of Carioca. This brand new sparkling fruit flavored cooler is set to form part of our new three tiered approach to the sparkling category. With three exciting fruit flavors and a Brazilian personality, Carioca is firmly rooted in the culture of Rio. The brand is all about rhythm and color and dancing and is set to take the South African market by storm, offering sophisticated champagne cues at an affordable price and with an accessible taste. In September, Drostehof will run an extra light campaign within key accounts in order to protect its extra light volumes and position in the market. Drostehof Extra Light is South Africa's favorite low alcohol wine and we intend to keep it that way, defending this brand amongst growing competition within this subcategory. South Africa's talking, eating, drinking, laughing, singing, sharing wine is now available with a screw cap, making this accessible wine a little more, well, accessible. The Man with the Lobster Hands is a digital initiative to celebrate this move and highlights the consumer benefit of a screw cap in a quirky and fun way, aligned to the tonality and personality of the brand. This campaign also tied in well with Grasa's ongoing sponsorship of the Lombards by Kreefius. We were at the beach. Everybody had matching towels. Somebody went under a dock, and there they saw a rock. It wasn't a rock. Cedric 
Bismarck's Old Brown Sherry is a South African classic. After completely reversing the decline in this brand in 2011, we had to ask ourselves, where to next? The answer? A brand new lifestyle look and feel, as well as an interesting new app, Sedgwick's Old Brown Album of Us, which allows Facebook photo data with a friend to be compiled into a digital photo album. This can be viewed, downloaded and shared online. Sedgwick's is all about sharing and this app speaks directly to the brand intrinsic. Although we believe strongly in the power of consistent branding, there are times when brands need to evolve. No matter if they're staying ahead of the trends, adding a bit of polish to an old favorite, or blowing the cobwebs off a classic. Our pack upgrades allow us to adapt to trends in the category and keep pace with the ever-growing list of competitors. We want to be seen as the leaders, not the followers, and ensuring our brands stay current forms a very important part of this. One of the highlights of the year was the 80th anniversary of Chateau Libertas, which we celebrated with a limited edition pack. To help take ownership of the wine category, we're working closely with our partners to develop brand blocking areas. These are modular solutions that can be adapted according to store size. They allow for specific branding, cold storage, as well as providing zones for tasting and trial, as well as education. Most importantly though, they ensure that Distel's brands take pride of place in this competitive category. Gifting is very important to us, especially in the super and ultra premium wines. We want to use gifting to stand out from the clutter and grow forward share. Gifting initiatives should also be seen to add value for the consumer and enhance desirability. With that said, we don't want to develop gifting for gifting's sake, but instead it needs to form part of the overall communication strategy. This means gifting is intrinsically linked to each brand's objectives and has a clear role to play. Specifically, encourage trial, build image and add value. To build the prestigious reputation of Distel's super and ultra premium wines, we want to use all the channels at our disposal to capitalize on these awards and further elevate the status of the relevant brands. This includes the development and implementation of a consolidated PR and media plan developed with OMD, in-store branding and tastings as well as activations. Finally, we will use the online space to remind consumers of our awarded status. The portfolio needs care and attention. The detail is very important and needs to speak to the consumer, allowing us to leverage awards across different consumer tiers. That concludes our brief summary of the wine category and the initiatives we have and will be putting in place to capitalize on the growth in the market. The truth is our entire team is feeling very optimistic for the future as we continue to grow the category and our individual brands. We hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Here's to Distel. Here's to the future. Here's to going beyond your boundaries.